Discovered in December 2004, the asteroid Apophis caused quite a stir at the time as scientists estimated it had a 2.7% chance of colliding with Earth on April 13, 2029. At 370 metres, this chunk of rock, travelling at 30 kilometres per second, would cause serious damage if it hit Earth, and with a 1 in 37 chance of doing so, it was too high for scientists to ignore. Apophis is just one of 2,300 potentially hazardous asteroids, so join me, the Cosmic Skipper, as we take a look at near-Earth asteroids and discover what fate awaits us when Apophis returns in 2029. Near-Earth asteroids, or NEAs, have orbits that are close to Earth's orbit, part of a broader group called near-Earth objects, which also include comets. NEAs can be categorised into four groups, Atira, Amor, Apollo and Aten asteroids. Atira asteroids have orbits that are entirely confined within Earth's orbit around the Sun and do not cross Earth's orbital path. Amma asteroids have orbits outside of Earth's orbit around the Sun. They may come relatively close to Earth, but like Atira asteroids, they do not cross Earth's orbital path. Whilst these two represent near-Earth asteroids, they pose no threat to Earth as their orbital paths do not intersect it. However, that is not the case with Apollo and Aten asteroids. Apollo asteroids primarily orbit outside of Earth's orbit, but they do cross our orbital path coming between us and the Sun before returning to an orbit outside Earth's. Aten asteroids also cross Earth's orbital path coming from inside of Earth's orbit towards its outside. These asteroids primarily spend most of their orbital time closer to the Sun than Earth. The fact Apollo and Aten asteroids cross the orbital path of Earth creates a risk of collision and so some of them are termed potentially hazardous asteroids. So what determines if an asteroid is potentially hazardous? If the asteroid is greater than 140 metres and comes to within 7.5 million kilometres of Earth during its orbit, it is considered a potentially hazardous asteroid. If a 140 metre asteroid were to impact Earth, some serious damage would result. A crater of 1 to 2 kilometres would be created, and if impact occurred over a populated area, mass casualties would ensue. Every 500,000 years, an impact from an object of the size 1,000 metres occurs, which would result in global devastation and the potential collapse of civilization. Every 100 to 200 million years, an asteroid hits that causes mass extinction, such as the Chicxulub impactor that wiped out the dinosaurs. These asteroids are typically 10 kilometres in size, but thankfully NASA believe we have found 100% of these types of asteroids. Asteroid 4179 Teltatis is an Apollo asteroid journeying from outside of Earth's orbit around the Sun. It is a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its size at 4.6 kilometres, and on September 29, 2004, it came within about 1.5 million kilometres of Earth. One of the most notorious and potentially hazardous asteroids is the Aten-type asteroid Apophis. Discovered in 2004, early orbital calculations raised serious concerns as there was a small 2.7% but non-negligible impact probability with Earth in 2029 or 2036. Due to these concerns, Apophis is one of the most studied asteroids ever and we now know that the probability of a near-term impact has been ruled out. It still remains potentially hazardous though, as orbital mechanics and the influence of other planetary bodies may cause its orbital path to change in the future. But today, this asteroid is no threat. But even so, on April 13th, 2029, it will pass Earth at a distance of only 31,000 kilometres, more than 10 times closer than the Moon and closer than some communication satellites.
In the early hours of June the 30th, 1908, 2,000 square kilometres of forest near the Tunguska River in Siberia, Russia, were flattened by a blast. Eyewitnesses reportedly saw a brilliant fireball streak across the sky just before the explosion, which scientists think was a 50 to 60 metre comet or asteroid. A century after Tunguska, a significant event took place over Chelyabinsk, Russia, on February the 15th, 2013. A 20 metre asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded in an outburst, releasing the equivalent energy of 30 Hiroshima atomic bombs. The resulting shockwave shattered windows, damaged buildings and injured over a thousand people. Historical events such as the Tunguska and Chelyabinsk explosions serve as a poignant reminder as to the importance of identifying and tracking all these objects. The detection and study of potentially hazardous asteroids has therefore become a necessary and vital component in our planetary defence efforts. Larry Niven, an American science fiction writer, famously once said that dinosaurs became extinct because they didn't have a space programme. Let's hope then that our planetary defence efforts deliver the sorts of results needed to keep the planet safe.